let's look at the ss command this command shows us information about sockets uh, a socket is a communication endpoint uh, for communication we need three things one is the hardware which is uh, usually the uh, ethernet card or the wi-fi card uh, then we have an ip address which is configured on the card and finally we have the communication taking place over a port a port number uh, for example http port number is 80 https is 443 uh, ssh by default is on port 22 so uh, the ss command helps us to view all that information about sockets uh, let's look at the default output uh, by default without any option the command displays all the sockets uh, which have already established a connection and from that point on uh, there are multiple columns uh, let's look at the columns which are in the first line of the output so we, we can pipe the output to head and just display one line and that way we can look at the column names without having to scroll back so the first column is net id this corresponds to the type of socket so here we have uh, TCP type socket here we have UDP uh, then we have ICMP and this one corresponds to the sockets that are created with sock underscore stream option so there are multiple socket types and the type of socket is on the uh, first column uh, let's uh, look at the second column which is the state uh, by default we are looking at only the established connection sockets uh, close underscore wait means the connection was established and now the remote has shut down and the socket is waiting to close uh, the third column is a receive queue uh, it is a number what that means is uh, a socket has received that many bytes uh, from the remote uh, and it is waiting for the application uh, that uses this socket uh, to take or consume those bytes or uh, the application that uses the socket is yet to consume the received uh, set of bytes uh, the same for the send queue uh, the number on that column indicates that the socket has sent that many number of bytes to the remote and it is waiting for the remote to acknowledge uh, receiving those set of bytes uh, the next column is uh, the local ip address on which the socket is created and the port number on which the socket is communicating uh, the last column is the remote IP address or the remote host the other party uh, that the socket is communicating with and the port there uh, that is uh, communicated with so here we have HTTPS now uh, instead of looking at uh, the data for just uh, established connections we may want to look at uh, sockets irrespective of what state they are in uh, so all states that is specified with the dash a option uh, again we get a lot of uh, output uh, with multiple different uh, connection states not just established uh, let's say that we want to look at just tcp sockets we specify that with the dash uh, t option either separately or together so that's uh, ss uh, dash a t uh, a for uh, showing all states uh, t for just uh, tcp uh, so all the tcp sockets irrespective of what state they are in so uh, that's the tcp let's say that we want to look at just udp sockets we can do that with the dash u option either separately or together and we get that output now usually we would want to look at both tcp and udp so either specify it separately or together and we get that output uh, now uh, some processes or processes are using these sockets on the host how do we look at the processes uh, we specify that with the dash p option uh, either separately or together if we do that we can see that uh, the https connections are being used by chrome uh, we also get the process id and we also get the file descriptor now some of the processes are not shown uh, that's because of permissions if we run the same command again with sudo we can see the uh, services also which are using the uh, sockets now uh, 
on the remote column we can see that uh, it is displaying the name of the protocol instead of the uh, port number there so we can tell ss uh, to just show the number or the port number do not show the uh, name or the text of text name of the protocol uh, we specify that with the dash n option uh, if we do that either separately or together we can see that instead of https uh, we get 443 uh, which is the port number for https uh, so that's uh, showing the port number usually what we would want to do is uh, we would want instead of looking at a long list of sockets we would be interested in only looking at let's say uh, HTTPS uh, sockets what we would do is we would run the SS command pipe the output uh, use grep to search for whatever we are interested in so in this case we are interested in HTTPS uh, and we specify it there uh, instead of HTTPS we can specify uh, an IP address a port number um, uh, whatever we are interested in so that's the um, uh, general set of options that uh, are commonly used uh, with the ss command uh, the same for the netstat command uh, and piping the output to grep and uh, searching for uh, something of interest uh, and filtering out and figuring out uh, what communication is taking place uh, on the host